So this is what everyone is angry about. Get ready guys, you are about to hate me. <laughs> Iris Alba has been on a tour to take all African roles and this has pissed off a large majority of people. And after doing this for a while now, he has come for our own storybooks. No, not things fall apart. We have other stories. Um, you, you can take um, the drummer boy. They say goes to school. Chiki and the river. Um, Americana. Yeah, take this one. Um, no one wants it. 2024 is the year of movies. Pow, 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 pow. I have seen none of these movies actually. But making movies is hard, and getting the right actors with enough media pool is harder. And that's why I like Iroko movies. They use the same house, they use the same costume, and they use the same actors to make 40 movies. The actors are like 9 to 5 workers at this point. The downside to making movies like this is that no one will get an award that really matters. Because to get it, you have to go over and beyond with the movie. First, you pick a story that has so much cultural pool and you cast all the right people of the culture as sub-leads and when it comes to the main protagonist, you cast someone that's not part of the culture. That's how to do it. And when the fans get angry, remind them that it's just acting and anyone can do it. Right? You see, in the world of make-believe, I have seen a lot of outstanding works that some people will definitely not see. And one day, I hope these movies will get the recognition that they surely deserve because everybody on this website deserves an award. <laughs> Heard they are making things fall apart into a TV series and Idris Alba is playing Okunkwo. Personally, I think the thing should have been made entirely in Igbo language. And my answer in the matter is no. Unoka, when does an old man grow old? To the will of our people. Did you say price? Right. How fluent is his Igbo? While they might be bringing in great actors, the language representation is very important. I see what you try to do there and I respect this kind of argument. You see, I usually play dirty when I'm arguing. If I see myself losing, um, that's when I insult your dad. That's how to win a debate 101. Every time people use the word culture, I always wonder if it implies to all cultures in a culture. For example, Aminu Gaba is played by Ayola. He isn't Aosa, so does that mean he can't play this role? Same with Timini in this role. Imagine casting Idris Alba as Okonkwo in Things Fall Apart. What happened to Kanayo Kanayo? Have you come to challenge me? <laughs> no. He technically can't do it. What happened to Pete Doche? He technically can't do it at this point. And many others. Who are the many others? <laughs> Who in Nigeria is better than Idris Alba? <laughs> Who are these guys? Who is John? <laughs> Meanwhile, things fall apart is Biafra, but it predates the Biafra war. John. Who are you? In the beginning, I was scared Idris Alba won't be able to pull off this character. Then I heard him do this for Shake. Echo where they born me. Strong ties to my mama where for me. Alhamdulillah, waiting as he come lead to my story. I think this man can play any Nigerian role now. Give him, give that man the script. What shall I do? Defeat him. How? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Okay, the whole theme of Things Fall Apart is what is happening right now. It's a story of a man who feels the Igbo culture is being washed away by the colonial masters and follows his struggle to maintain the culture. And masculinity, masculinity is part of it. masculinity is part of it. So I understand the outrage of viewers who read the story. But where does culture end? Would you say there is a culture in the workforce? Are people who play doctors and lawyers a fraud because they are not part of that said culture? What of sex work movies? Do you think one of them watched Shanty Town and was like, nah, she ain't knocking that man well? <laughs> he should come and audition for things for a part. <laughs> I love Africans. But don't get me wrong, as a Nigerian, I do get the need to maintain culture and not just give everything we own away. I understand why we need gatekeepers for things like this. So I don't have all the answers, but the whole aim of acting is embodying something that is not authentic to yourself. What's your take? Comment down below. For me, I honestly believe a bad actor is someone who plays himself. That's why when they wanted me to play Amino Gaba, I said no. I can't be rich in real life and be rich in movies. Yuck! Yeah, you just buy Get a little bit of trouble, take that I have